So I'm trying to figure out how a TPC course that regularly hosts PGA Tour events with some of the world's best golfers doesn't get the attention that it deserves here in Illinois. And in fact, I'm convinced that TPC Deer Run out in Silvis is not only the most underrated golf course in Illinois, but I think it's the number one in the state. So what's going on golfers? Karsten here for today's video. We're diving into what it's like to play TPC Deer Run the best golf holes in the value, and my case for why this is the number one public golf course in Illinois. But before we begin, please like and subscribe. Trust me, it helps a ton with my videos getting featured by YouTube's algorithm while helping you so you don't pay a small fortune to play overrated golf courses. All right, let's dive in. We will start with the fantastic history as TPC Deer Run is a tournament level golf course that hosts the annual John Deere Classic located in Silvis, Illinois. It is rich in golf history, including several stories like a 19 year old Jordan Spieth holding in a bunker shot on 18 during the 2013 John Deere Classic, which forced an epic five hole playoff with him and Zach Johnson, which he ultimately went on to win. There's also Paul Goidos and Steve Stricker's legendary duel back in 2010, where Stricker shot a 60, and Paul Goidos still beat him by a stroke by shooting the course record of a 59 and the second lowest score ever on the PGA Tour. Though Stricker may have lost this battle, he ultimately won the war by shooting a weekend score of 26 under par. In addition to Jordan Spieth and Steve Stricker, the course has hosted other winners like Vijay Singh, Zach Johnson, and even Bryson DeChambeau. The closest comp that I have for playing TPC Deer Run is the legendary Medina, and it might even be a more scenic pound-for-pound -pound golf course as Deer Run combines meticulous care gorgeous views, and tons of nature, not to mention the awesome amenities. In addition to the great golf history, it's important to note that there is a strong sense of historical significance to this land, which includes being an old Native American settlement. The course designers and architects recognize this by naming the 16th hole Mother Earth, which was used by the Native Americans to pay homage to the land for providing food, beauty, and a place of contest. In addition, it was an old Arabian horse barn which was preserved during the construction of the golf course. History aside, the golf course is simply fantastic, combining meticulous care, gorgeous views, and tons of nature. For example, one of my first times playing out here, we were on hole number 16, and we saw a man poking around the green, and I come to find out that he is taking the green's temperature to make sure the grass and the ground is not too hot. And they supposedly do this several times a day during the summer. The attention to detail is abundantly clear as everything here is meticulously cared for. While we're on the greens, I have played here five times now, sometimes in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon, and found them to always roll true and are always in great condition. In fact, several of them have lots of undulation and movement which places a huge emphasis on having good approach shots. The nature is gorgeous and it is an amazing piece of land. There are so many old trees that surround the course and create really tight windows on several holes, as well as a handful of golf holes that feature the Rock River. There are also many rolling hills which add an aspect of elevation on many of the golf holes. Also, one of my favorite features of TPC Deer Run is the Augusta-like bunkers. They are beautiful and filled with the white sand, making a really beautiful contrast to the surrounding nature, even though they definitely ruined one of my last rounds out there. Though the pros may tear it up here, the common golfer will find a formidable challenge playing here. I'm a 7 handicap, and my 83 out here definitely felt like a 79. To score well requires being on your A game consistently while combining distance and target golf. As if the course experience wasn't enough to sell you on playing here, the amenities at Deer Run are top notch. There is a gorgeous driving range and practice area that includes range balls in the fee, a beautiful clubhouse with top notch food. The golf shop was even named one of the best golf shops in America 
by Golf World Business, and I'd agree because I always walk out of there with a new golf shirt. They even have these awesome golf carts that make you feel like you're sitting in a lazy boy. Look, Deer Run is a world-class golf experience that is the best you'll find as a public golf course in Illinois, hands down. One of the highlights of my summer every year is doing a golf trip out to Silvis with my father-in-law, not to mention taking his money, and take it from me, you will not regret playing here. Now to the signature holes. Though there are many great ones, it doesn't take much to realize that number 16 is the signature hole at Deer Run. Located right on the Rock River, it is a scenic and shorter par three, playing only 160 yards from the TPC and 150 from the Blacks. It's a smaller green with two greenside bunkers, one big one short and a small one long, creating a really tough up and down if you miss the green. Because this is almost too obvious, I'll give a second signature hole, which is hole number two. This is a longer par five, playing 560 from the TPC and 546 from the black with a sharp dogleg right. It starts with a gorgeous elevated tee shot, providing an awesome scenic overlook. After the sharp dogleg, it is a test and target golf to have the right angle in on the approach and land on the right part of the green. My honorable mention is hole number four. It's a dogleg right, par four, with an incredibly inconvenient tree right in the middle of the fairway. The approach shot is to an elevated green with a deep bunker on the left and a slope off the green long. What makes it special though is this gorgeous view of the river and the second hole from the green. Let's talk about the value of playing at Deer Run, which isn't only one of the best values in the entire state, it's one of the best values in the entire Midwest. They have dynamic pricing, so it can fluctuate, but I can tell you that when I played here on Labor Day in September, I only paid $84 for a peak hour tee time, which included the cart and range balls in the fee. They also have an awesome all day rate of $169, which I definitely recommend for anyone doing a golf trip. The rate for local residents is like borderline crazy. May through September, open until noon, it's $69. Noon until four, it's $59. And then after 4 p.m. until close, it's $49. And in the non-peak months, rates can range from anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks. They also have memberships available with a player card where you can get the same rates as the locals if you play here often. Look, the golf course, the history, and the amenities are top of the line. And the fact that it doesn't cost a small fortune to play here and is even better than many of the prices for local Chicagoland golf courses is absolutely incredible. The value of playing here is a major factor in my reasoning for why Deer Run is the best public golf course in Illinois. Now to my final grade of TPC Deer Run, which factoring in the overall experience, the signature holes, and the value, I give it an extremely strong 9.3. Look, this checks all the things that I'm looking for in a golf course, and if I live close here, trust me, I'd play here all the time, and no question about it, I'd join that membership program. If you live closer, I'm jealous, and I'd highly recommend that you do the same. For many of you in the Chicagoland area that are questioning if it's worth the lengthy drive out to Silvis, Illinois, there's no doubt about it, it certainly is. And after playing every notable golf course in the Illinois area, I have no question saying that TPC Deer Run is the best public golf course in Illinois. Thanks again for watching. Here's two more videos that I think you will like, and you can help me out a lot by liking and subscribing if you found this content relevant. That way my videos get featured in the YouTube algorithm. So thank you again, and as always, play well, my fellow hacks.